Welcome everyone. Uh, let's do a preview for what's going on this week in Gems of War. Uh, this week is Pan's Veil vale Week. So, that means that in Event Chess, this is what you can pull this week. Uh, you can pull, well, any of these troops, of course, but the two mythics that you were would be looking for are Pan. Uh, I'd be less happy to get Pan than Wild Queen, but Pan does quite a bit of damage to three enemies, knocks them to the back, uh, is impervious, and all Wild Folk allies gain one life in magic when matching four or more gems. It's okay. It does okay damage. Uh, the one I'd be looking for, which I already have, of course, is Wild Queen steals attack and gives it to the first ally and creates a mix of 22 skulls and green gems. And summon a bone storm when an ally dies. Well, that's going to happen once in a while. Skulls backfire. And all wild folk allies gain two attack at the start of every turn. Yeah. Well, let's look at these wonderful uh, legendaries first. Bunny Nog. Not a big fan. You would think I would be. I tried to build a really good team around this at one point just to fight knights because it uh, can deal double damage to knights and a 50% chance to devour them and also does five times skull damage versus knights. Never really got anywhere with it. I tried so many different things, it just didn't work. King Silanus, not bad. It does give a 50% start to all wild folk allies. Uh, I wouldn't be sad to pull that if you don't have it. Luna, also pretty good. Uh, does damage to all allies, inflict 1 to 2 status effects on all enemies, or grant all allies 1 to 2 status effects, and explodes a random gem when matching yellow gems. Pretty good for mana. And Starflower, mm, not too bad. Uh, does damage to all enemies, boosted by ally and enemy fey. Uh, summons a random Fey, so it's a good troop to put in the back if you're losing troops up front. It'll just keep summoning, and 20% chance to transform a random enemy to a pixie. And the best thing about it, 50% chance to fairy fire a random enemy at the start of the turn. Not bad. Possibly something that could be used in the event this week. I'm not sure what troops we can use, but it's possible. And then the silent one who silences all enemies and myself. Uh, you'd think it would be used more, but it just isn't used that much. Anyways, would I go heavy on event keys this week if I don't have either of those? Yes, I love Wild Queen. She's so versatile. You can put her in so many different teams. And once you get it, I would stop pulling. Uh, Pan is something that you can get much later on through pulls or even crafting way down the line. You're not going to miss it that much. Uh, let's look at weapons. Nothing is too exciting except Yasmin's Pride. Uh, that's definitely one you would want to craft if you don't have it. Eliminate all armor from an enemy. Give all allies life, boosted by armor eliminated, and that's on a 3 to 1 ratio. I believe I've finished 3 or 4 delves with a Yasmin's Pride team, which is... <clears throat> pardon me. Usually, uh, Yasmin's Pride, uh, some people run double Ketris, and maybe a Leprechaun for mana, or Yasmin's Pride, Yao Gawai. Uh, Ketris and maybe a Boltoros and that's an interesting team it's very very tanky especially if you are using a class that has barrier on brown so if you don't have it craft it the rest of them mm, the, the this one glaive of many goats I did a uh, explore 12 uh, team on there it's on my page and radiant jewels kind of the same thing it does damage to an enemy boosted by pan fail allies where this one is wild folk so 
I wouldn't spend 300 gem or 300 diamonds on either one of those, but you know. And Prism Staff is the new one from the event. So without taking too much more time, uh, let's just take a quick look at the Troop of the Week. And uh, that would be... Spoils of War, sorry. I gotta buy my 10 event keys even though I don't need them. And weekly event, Argos. That should show us. Uh, chose a color. Remove all gems of that color. Dispel the first enemy. Drain their mana by that number of gems. Removed, 1-to-1 one -one ratio. Uh, it's an epic, you know. Summon a light storm and start a battle. Blah, blah, blah. It's not that interesting. I'm just going to buy it up to Mythic. Hopefully it gets me another Kingdom Star at some point. Maybe today. I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Um, oh, looking at that. If you, you shouldn't need green yellow those are farmable in delves i can't remember which one it was because it's been so long but this is the only um arcane trait stone that's farmable in delves and let's get on to what's going on for faction tomorrow it's lirasis lair which is a yellow purple so take that into account you can use Leprechaun for mana gen. Um, I'm probably just going to run, I don't know, something, some weapon, and then probably two Arachnian Weavers and a Leprechaun in the back. Uh, Wednesday, the pet is Ozzy, and that's a Drifting Sands, and that is a cosmetic pet for Australia Day 2021. Uh, Thursday is going to be Bard class for your class event. And Friday we have Invasion Weekend. I believe it's Invasion. Yeah, we had Raid last week. Uh, or the week before. I can't remember. Uh, anyways, it's Invasion Weekend. And Saturday is an all-day pet event for another cosmetic pet. Uh, Earth Koala which was an older Australia Day cosmetic pet. And let's see, let's take a quick look at the Soul Forge. Weapons. Uh, yeah, definitely want to get Yasmin's Pride. It's 300 diamonds and you're going to need jewels and souls and celestial trade stones. Troops. Infernus. Mm, boy. I still really love Infernus, but it's really, it doesn't scale that well, and it's useful in some teams. Would I craft it if I was looking to craft something really good? Probably not nowadays. Same thing with Doomclaw, I wouldn't craft that. Worldbreaker, I probably wouldn't craft that. And... Xylopopoli, I think I've eaten at that restaurant at least once or twice. Uh, I wouldn't craft that either. There's nothing I would suggest crafting this week. Hold on to your diamonds and wait for something that's truly a game changer. Infernus is still very good for its burn and it does do very nice splash damage, but mm, no. Nah. Anyways, that's what we have for this week and I hope you all have a great week. I'm going to try to get back later today, hopefully this morning, with uh, World Event teams. I can't make any promises, but I'm going to try. Have a great one. Bye-bye.